Hey everybody, um, I'd like to do some readings for everyone from the Book of Enoch. I consider it a very uh, important extra-biblical book. Um, what I did is I purchased the new Mark Flynn book, Forbidden Secrets of the Labyrinth. And it, it was a package deal and it came with um, some Tom Horn books and uh, all these other books that you're seeing which are on a uh, CD and so if I run out of time as I'm doing the reading I will continue and just do it part by part until I complete everything I'm trying to to share with everyone so here we go I'm going to start right here it happened after the sons of men had multiplied. In those days that daughters were born to them elegant and beautiful. And when the angels, the sons of heaven, beheld them, they became enamored of them, saying to each other, Come, let us select for ourselves wives from the progeny of men. Let us beget children. Then their leader Samyaza said to them, I fear you may perhaps be indisposed to the performance of this enterprise, and I alone shall suffer for so grievous a crime. But they answered him and said, We all swear and bind ourselves by mutual execrations that we will not change our intention but execute our projected undertaking. Then they swore all together and all bound themselves by mutual execrations. Their whole number was 200 who descended upon Ardis, which is the top of Mount Armon. That mountain, therefore, was called Armon because they had sworn upon it and bound themselves by mutual execrations. These are the names of their chiefs, Semyaza, who was their leader, Berakabaramil, Akabil, Tamiel, Ramiel, Danel, Arkiel, Sarakakiel, Asael, Armars, Matrail, Anan, Zavib, Samsabil, Arkel, Tirel, Yamiel, Arizial. These were the prefects of the 200 angels, and the remainder were all with them. Then they took wives, each choosing for himself whom they began to approach and with whom they cohabitated teaching them sorcery, incantations, and the dividings of roots and trees. Sorcery, simply put according to God, is basically witchcraft. You'll find God doesn't want you to do witchcraft. And this is where it came from. Dividing of roots and trees, there's where your pharmaceutical began. And the women conceived, conceiving brought forth giants. There really were giants, folks, whose stature was 300 cubits. A cubit times 300 is very tall. He devoured all which the labor of men produced until it became impossible to feed them. When they turned themselves against men in order to devour them, yes, they ate us. began to injure birds, beasts, reptiles, and fishes to eat their flesh one after another and to drink their blood. Then the earth reproved the unrighteous. Moreover, Azazel taught men to make swords, knives, shields, breastplates, fabrication of ar armors, workmanship of bracelets and ornaments, the use of paint, Beautifying of the eyebrows, use of stones, of every valuable and select kind, and all sorts of dyes so that the world became altered. And you have your um, cosmetics, your tattooing, your dress accessories. Impiety increased, fornication multiplied, and they transgressed and corrupted all their ways. 
Amazarach taught all the sorcerers and dividers of roots. Armors taught the sol solution of sorcery. Bakael taught the observation, the observers of the stars. Akabil taught signs. Tamiel taught astronomy, and Azaradel taught the motion of the moon. And men, being destroyed, cried out, and their voice reached to heaven. And Michael and Gabriel, Raphael, Suryal, and Uriel looked down from heaven saw the quantity of blood which was shed on earth and all the iniquity which was done upon it and said one to another it is the voice of their cries the earth deprived of her children has cried even to the gate of heaven and now to you O ye holy one of heaven the souls of men complained saying obtain justice for us with the most high and they said to their lord the king thou art lord of lords god of gods king of kings Throne of thy glory is forever and ever, and forever and ever is thy name sanctified and glorified. Thou art blessed and glorified. Thou hast made all things. Don possesses power over all things, and all things are open and manifest before thee. Thou beholdest all things, and nothing can be concealed from thee. Thou hast seen what Azazel has done. Azazel, excuse me. How he taught every species of iniquity upon earth, and has disclosed to the world all the secret things which are done in the heavens. Samyan also has taught sorcery to whom thou hast given authority over those who are associated with him. Have gone together to the daughters of men, have lain with them, have become polluted, and had discovered crimes to them. The women, likewise, have brought forth giants. Thus has the whole earth been filled with blood and with iniquity. And now behold, the souls of those who are dead cry out. And complain even to the gates of heaven. The groaning ascends. Nor can they escape from the unrighteousness which is committed on earth. Thou knowest all things before they exist. Thou knowest these things what has been done by them that thou dost not speak to us what on account of these things ought we do to them then the most high the great and holy one spoke and sent say all that lie you the son of Lamech saying say to him in my name conceal thyself then explain to him the consummation which is about to take place for all the earth shall perish the waters of a deluge shall come over the whole earth, and all things which are in it shall be destroyed. And now teach him how he may escape, and how his seed may remain in all the earth. Again the Lord said to Raphael, Bind Azael, hand and foot, cast him into darkness. And opening the desert which is in Dujel, cast him in there. Throw upon him hurled and pointed stones, covering him with darkness. There shall he remain forever. Cover his face that he may not see the light. And in the great day of judgment, let him be cast into the fire. Restore the earth, which the angels have corrupted, and announce life to it that I may revive it. All the sons of men shall not perish in consequence of every secret by which the watchers have destroyed, and which they have taught their offspring. All the earth has been corrupted by the effects of the teaching of as a yell. To him, therefore, subscribe, ascribe the whole crime. To Gabriel also the Lord said, Go to the biters, to the reprobates, to the children of fornication, and destroy the children of fornication, the offspring of the watchers from among men. Bring them forth and excite them against one another. Let them perish by mutual slaughter, for length of days shall not be theirs. They shall all entreat thee, but their fathers shall not obtain their wishes respecting them, for they shall hope for eternal life, that they may be, that they may live, each of them five hundred years. To Michael, likewise the Lord said, Go and announce his crime to Samyaza, and to the others who are with him, who have been associated with women. 
that they might be polluted with all their impurity. And when all their sons shall be slain, and they shall see the perdition of their beloved, bind them for seventy generations. Remember that, seventy generations. Underneath the earth, even in the day of judgment and of consummation, until the judgment, the effect of, which will last forever, be completed. Then shall they be taken away into the lowest depths of the fire and torments, and in confinement shall they be shut up forever. Immediately after this shall be, together with them, burn and perish, that should be bound until the consummation of many generations. Destroy all the souls addicted to dalliance, and the offsprings of the watchers, where they have tyrannized over mankind. Let every oppressor perish from the face of the earth. Let every evil work be destroyed. The plan of righteousness and of rectitude appear, and its produce become a blessing. Righteousness and rectitude shall be forever planted with delight. Then shall all the giants give thanks, all the saints, excuse me, then shall all the saints give thanks and live until they have begotten a thousand children, while the whole period of their youth and their Sabbaths shall be completed in peace. In those days all the earth shall be cultivated in righteousness. It shall be wholly planted with trees and filled with benediction. And every tree of delight shall be planted in it. In it shall vines be planted. And the vine which shall be planted in it shall yield fruit to satiety. Every seed which shall be sown in it shall produce for one measure a thousand. And one measure of olives shall produce ten presses of oil. Purify the earth from all oppression, from all injustice, from all crime, from all impiety, and from all the pollution which is committed upon it. Exterminate them from the earth. Then shall all the children of men be righteous, and all nations shall pay me divine honors and bless me, and all shall adore me. The earth shall be cleansed from all corruption, from every crime, from all punishment, from all suffering. Neither will I again send a deluge upon it from generation to generation forever. Though the, there's not going to be any kind of God flood ever again, is what he just said. He'll deal with things in a different way, but not a flood. In those days I will open the treasures of blessing which are in heaven that I may cause them to descend upon earth and upon all the works and labors of men. Peace and equity shall associate with the sons of men all the days of the world and every generation of it. Before all these things, Enoch was concealed. Nor did any one of the sons of men know where he was concealed, where he'd been and what had happened. He was wholly engaged with the holy ones and with the watchers in his days. I, Enoch, was blessing the great Lord and King of Peace. And behold, the watchers called me, Enoch the scribe. And the Lord said to me, Enoch, scribe of righteousness, righteousness, go tell the watchers of heaven who have deserted the lofty sky. Well, there's a hint for you uh, where their first estate was at. They deserted the lofty sky and their holy everlasting station. So they had a position to be in wherever that was at. And it just told you it was off earth, above earth. However that may be interpreted. Who have been polluted with women and have done as the sons of men do by taking to themselves wives and who have been greatly corrupted on the earth. But on the earth they shall never obtain peace and remission of sin. For they shall not rejoice in their offspring. They shall behold the slaughter of their beloved, shall lament for the destruction of their sons, and shall petition forever, but shall not obtain mercy and peace. Then Enoch, passing on, said to Azazel, Thou shalt not obtain peace. A great sentence has gone forth against thee. He shall bind thee. Neither shall relief, mercy, and supplications be thine on account of the oppression which thou hast taught, and on account of every act of blasphemy, tyranny, and sin which thou hast discovered to the children of men. Then departing from him, I spoke to the